here online. Police say Tuesday night, five Flowing Wells High School students received threats through their Facebook page. The posts also threatened to, quote, shoot up the school. We've talked about zero tolerance policy. Do you think that there's a greater conversation that needs to be had with students across Tucson? Oh, absolutely. It's <clears throat> there's no such thing as an idle threat. You know, you can't joke about it. Flowing Wells District Superintendent Nick Clement says the district's auto alert system initially notified parents of the threat via phone. Some parents say that's not enough. The panic, um, the sick feeling that us parents got when we received a message. These Flowing Wells parents contacted Nine on Your Side. They asked not to be shown on camera out of concern for their daughter. Obviously not their real names, we'll call them Carol and Joe. So we were left hanging. I, you know, I don't think either one of us slept all night. No. I don't think our daughter slept all night. Not only does Carol and Joe's daughter attend the school, they also know one of the boys accused of making the threats. I know what kind of child he was. And I do believe bullying and isolation is a very big factor. Carol and Joe are calling for a more fluid line of communication. I think, you know, this needs to open up another area, another realm of something needs to be done in a different manner. They say what needs to be done differently is twofold. There needs to be more conversation between students and teachers and schools and parents. It's just not here in Tucson, Arizona. It's happening all across the nation. And we just, the, everybody needs to recognize the signs that are out there and help each other. Superintendent Clement says every time there's a situation like this one, the district as a whole learns something. We need to continue to have the conversation. We need to continue to um, work with students and make sure they understand their rights, but their responsibilities, and that this is a different age. This is a different time.